else there. You know, like I really don't need a, the money for the day. I don't live paycheck to paycheck. I, the reason I wake up is because of the MIC members and how hard Alex, Taj, all the moderators in the room work. And so I can never, never leave them behind and never, ever take advantage of them, guys. So that's why I wake up. When, when you find and when you attach your priorities, your responsibilities to something that's more important than yourself, that's when you are forced to be disciplined. That's when you're forced to work. That's when it doesn't matter how you feel. You need to show up because there are people depending upon you. So find that in your life. That's why it's very difficult for young kids to become successful like this because they really have nothing to tie them down. No responsibility. They don't need to get up. Why do you need to work if you only need to take care of yourself, right? But when you take care of your family, your friends, and there are a lot of people in MIC depending on me, I need to get up. I need to work. Same thing with Alex, man. We, we do this because, no, we like it, but at the same time, we don't need it, guys. But we have a greater, a greater you know, goal, greater responsibility. This is what makes us humble. It's very humbling when the fate of so many are in your hands. And you, so you can't just get reckless. You, you can't be doing the stuff that some of these guys on you see on Twitter do. I mean, it's just crazy. No risk management, talking. I mean, these, these guys are just crazy. I mean, if you want to do crazy stuff, don't have a mentoring service. With a mentoring service, you need to be the role model. I never wanted to be role model growing up, guys. Because you know what, man? Being a role model means you got to fucking... Not drink, not do stupid shit, not, you know, just not be stupid, right? And so I find a balance that, you know, I can't, I, you gotta be yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna go out, I'm still gonna drink, I'm still, once in a while, I'm not sure if it'll work, but you know, but we, we built a team around this, guys. You know, you get your shit done, and then you can do what you wanna do. So find something that, that makes you more responsible than just yourself. The moment you find that, guys, you will have no choice but to be disciplined. I mean, dude, I was not a very disciplined kid because I was very smart. I could get away with shit and not study and, you know, just show up to tests and just fucking do, do well. But then in life, you know, it's like, dude, I have a family. I have a son to take care of. I have MIC members that depend on me. Alex, you know, they work very hard. So that's what keeps me going, guys. And so that's the secret in life. The secret in life, guys, is to find something outside of yourself greater than yourself. Then you cannot be selfish anymore because that's the thing, man. Discipline... When you, when you have so many life choices and you do anything you want to do, you're spoiled as hell. And that's when you know, that's when you realize, you know what, man, you're fucking spoiled. Get off your fucking ass and get some shit done. But anyways, um, I don't want to talk about that anymore, but that will segue to what you, what we will talk about later on to Instagram live guys. So, uh, I'll start now because a lot of people showed up. If you didn't show up on time, you know, that's, that's your loss guys. Uh, so Alex and I switched over to success trader. I known Success Trader for those guys for a long time, guys. Um, it was never announced retail. I just you know I just knew him privately myself. Uh, so Alex opened an account, and dude, <laughs> I don't know how many days Alex, you've been a uh, pretty kicking ass. I think you only lost like one day <laughs> since you opened the account. They had all the borrows. Uh, to in my opinion, guys, these are the guys are the best. We would not ever partner with someone that we would not think is the best out there, right? So in my opinion, they are the fucking best guys. Um, Check them out. We actually have this route that we made them put in for us called the MIC route. And that's what you get when you use our referral, MIC referral. Uh, you get this route that basically is a, is a rebate route. It forces, so, you know, the way you get rebates on, on direct access market um, brokers. So what happens is this, guys. You can actually route to the destination you want, ARCA, uh, BATS, wherever you want to do, night wherever, right? Um, you have a choice. When you have the choice, you send it, your order to that exact ECN, which is electronic or market maker. But when you're using stuff like Robinhood, you have no idea where it sends it to, right? It goes to a black box. And that's why Robinhood gives you free commissions because they resell, they do whatever they want to do. They package it up and they sell it, right? And so you may not get the best executable fields, but with a direct access broker, you have a choice of like 10 plus routes to send it to. And one of the routes we actually have is an MIC route, which basically forces rebates. So basically, 
You know what? When you add to liquidity on ECN, you get rebate. Basically, you put the order out there because you're adding liquidity. You, you, you help the markets grow by, by adding volume to their exchanges. So you put out, it's called adding liquidity or post only. So you add, you put your order out and someone hits you. Versus you slam the bid, you slam the offer, and you take someone's offer, right? That's called taking liquidity. I don't want to get in too much, but we have a route that ensures that you that they always add liquidity. So you get a rebate back, guys. And so we told them to lower for our guys for a limited time. Uh, 002 is the commission. And then the rebate route, which is the MIC route, is around 0025. So you're actually making five mils. For every time you route it, so if this is better, in my opinion, than Robinhood. Because Robinhood is free, but this one actually pays you back a rebate. And ensures you pay back a rebate. So, what does that mean, guys? <clears throat> I don't want to tell you this too much. But it means that you can actually, instead of paper trading on a, on a simulator, you can actually use this. And start using small shares. I, I don't think they want me to tell you this. But, you know, you can actually use this because, it's, because the commissions are free, guys. Is free, so you can actually put in very small shares, like hundred shares, fifty shares, and learn to trade on a live system with live money, and it won't cost you. It won't cost you commissions because if you use the MIC route, the commissions are less than what the MIC rebates are. So think about this. this is a game changer for students, guys. They don't want me to talk about this because they don't want to be inundated with all these guys practicing but i'm like dude so don't tell them guys don't, don't tell them but dude how how incredible it is to paper trade with a live account and not have to pay crazy fees because of the route gives you back the fees so now and there's no minimum per order of fees guys some of these uh brokers they have a dollar or five dollars minimum per order so even if you use a hundred shares they'll charge you a hundred dollars i mean one dollar one dollar right but with this you're getting, I think you're getting back even like a penny or something like that. Something ridiculous. So, so, so our students are being, I mean, this is why we, we do what we do, guys. It's all to help uh, people learn to day trade. There are a lot of communities out there that only want big traders. That's not us. We will take big, small, medium, whatever you want, guys. Because our goal, my goal, and Alex's goal, has always been to help people. Uh, no one really helped us. Uh, you know, there was no big social media networks, no Slack, no Discord when I joined. Um, you know, and so now this is your chance, guys. This is your chance to actually uh, go with the community and help and learn. I mean, where can you paper trade on a real live account and not have to fucking pay fees? The only fee you're paying is the uh, platform fee, which which Sessory doesn't make money on, guys. Uh, it's through DOS. DOS is, you know, you pay that. Everyone pays that. I don't get I, I you know, but I'm sure if you do enough volume, they might do something. But I don't know. I'm not the broker. I don't know. All I know is, you know what, man? Uh, I wish I had this when I was uh, learning the day trade. Because when you learn day trade, dude, all you do is paper trade on, by writing down or using a simulator. And simulators suck because it doesn't, it doesn't mimic real life trading. It doesn't have the emotions. So think about it. Put in 50 shares, 100 shares, and now you're down 10 bucks. I mean, 10 bucks is not going to ruin your life, right? But it, it kind of simulates like, dude, oh my God, dude. What, what, so you get the fear. What if the 100 bucks turns into a $100 loss? Things like that, right, guys? And so, and so it kind of mimics the psychology as well. So do yourself a favor. You know, you need to be over PDT, over $30,000. Uh, go to successtrader.com. Uh, but if you have over $30,000, you can put in a uh, request for a max daily loss of $100 if you want. So that way you won't blow up your account. The, the the 30 is just to get over the PDT rule, which is set by by the SEC, SEC and FINRA. This has nothing to do with the broker, guys. The stupid ass rule says that you need over $25,000 in order to trade more than three round trips a week, right? That's not our rule. I hate that rule, but you gotta live within that rule. If you can get, if you can come up with $30,000, now you can now you can trade freely. Uh, put in a max daily loss of a of hundred bucks so that you won't blow your account, and so that money just sits there, guys. You know that's how you do it, guys. You you have to you have to get the right system in order to trade. It's like coming into war <clears throat> holding a BB gun, and here am I and Alex with a tank. Not only a tank, we have a fucking submarine, <laughs> we have a nuclear bomb. You know all this crap. You you I mean your your little pellet gun ain't gonna do anything, guys. So. Um, and we're all, and this is a thing. This is the same platform that we use to trade. Um, 
So you guys are using the same military <laughs> uh, tanks that Alex and I are using, okay? Uh, okay, so so that's the accessory. Um, and follow, um, Alex posted his P&L on this uh, platform on the IG every day. So take a look at the PNL. That's all done through Success Raider. Uh, I post my charts on Twitter. So we pretty much cover everything. Alex does the PNL side and I just do the charts. And so, you know, so you can imagine like, you know, what, what he does and what I do. So, uh, we, we, you know, we educate very differently than everybody else. So that's, you know, and, and having a good partner like Success Raider is essential guys without a good partner. I could teach you day trade, but if you do not have the proper tools to execute your trades, it's useless. It's like if, I, if I'm teaching you how to shoot a gun and I don't have the best guns to show you and all I'm using is like a freaking 100 year old gun that you have to load the gun with, with gunpowder, you know, like the old muskets, that's not gonna help you, right guys? So you need both. Not only you need proper education, you need the proper tools. And for the, and for, I'm telling you, man, before MIC, in my opinion, man, these tools are not open to the public at this cheap rate. I remember when I started trading, man, my trades cost a ton of money, a ton of money. And so segueing back to this. So when you join MSC, guys, and so this is why we, we're, we're talking, what we're talking today, guys, what I tweeted. I, I'm hearing so many people lose money. And I'm like, so first thing I ask them, okay, what is the problem? They go, bow, please help me, please help me. Every day I'm getting this, and I don't know why. But, but lately, because the markets are more difficult, to me, the market's the same. And then for, it's just less stock selection. Stock selection has always been the key. It's just unforgiving in the sense of, you know, some of these stocks, dude, if you, if you go the wrong way, you will blow up unless you have proper risk management. It's not because it's difficult. It's the same thing. It's just the fact that your methods and methodology and process do not work in these markets. And so well, these guys are saying, oh, it's difficult. So, to me, it's the same shit. Alex still makes money. I still make money. It's like this is the same fucking shit. You know? It's just proper stock selection. You cannot just be be aimlessly adding to losers over and over and then revenge trade and expect to get out of that mode, right guys? So So what we do is this, guys. We actually I don't know why why the people don't use this more often. We have a watch list, guys. And when I hear people lose, they lose for a couple of reasons. Bad risk management. But more importantly is this, guys. I want to talk about this today. Uh, we talked about risk management too many times already. So, but people don't understand stock selection. Okay, when you start trading, guys, it's like there's so many stocks. Which stocks to trade? Okay, which ones are good for my strategy? Which ones are bad? Because if you fight, it's, it's like when you're a, a boxer, and you're a beginning boxer, you're not gonna be fighting a guy like Mike Tyson off the bat, because then you can get knocked the hell out. You need to level up correctly, All right, guys? And so stock selection is very important. You need to be trading the stocks that are at your huge edge, that you have the most edge on, the simplest stocks to trade. An example would be a low-hanging fruit if you're short, or a low float, just like you know SSL, or SST and S. BFM this morning, low flow, 2 million, you know, that's good for a long, so you need to know which stocks to trade. Otherwise, it's very difficult. It makes your life much more difficult if you're trading the wrong stocks. If you're shorting a front side, day one, low flow, you're dead. You may make money because you're lucky, but most of the time you will blow up. But imagine a simple stock on a on like a TCAT, you know, day two, a low hanging fruit, things like that. It makes your life much simpler. And so new traders don't really understand how to do stock selection. They go on their own and they fucking blow up. I had a guy yesterday, I'm like, I'm like, what the hell are you trying this stock for? Like, why are you looking at the watch list? So we actually have a watch list that Alex comes up with, that Tom's comes up with. There's a lot of people in MIC that's making watch lists for MIC now. These are consistently profitable traders. They're telling you these are the stocks of all the stocks out there I am looking at. This is not an alert system. This is not an alerting service. They're not going to say, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in. They pre-market one hour before the open. They put out watch lists with guidance saying, these are the lines I'm looking at. These are the numbers. If it gets here, this is what I'm going to do. They're giving out the plan an hour ahead of time. When the market happens, they are executing their plan. They're not alerting you. That's a key difference. You are not sheep. You are learning from the watch list. Not only you get to learn from the watch list how they pick those stocks, how they get those lines, how they get those points, how they coming up with these plans. You are learning that process. But at the same time, you're also making money if you 
you know, I hate telling people to copy their shit, but you know what, man? Um, Nancy uh, talks to uh, girls, uh, girls at trade uh, in um, MIC. She's a professor. She, she does great work for us by helping us uh, do stats. And, you know, if you follow the watch list properly, guys, there's a 90% win rate if it hits. Not all of the watches, not all the watch list hits, obviously. It, it may never get to your line, but you're not going to lose. You're not going to lose. That's the fucking thing. A lot of these guys have too much fucking FOMO. It's better to miss than to have FOMO and chase and be too early and lose. Guys, as simple as that. I rather fucking miss. I miss all day long. All day long. But the ones that I miss, but then I chase, I end up losing. That's called FOMO. Fear of missing out. Follow the watch list, guys. I'm not telling you to copy it, but I'm telling you, hey, if you fucking use it properly, you're going to fucking make money, guys. I don't I don't understand why more people do not use the watch list that, that are in the MIC. The watch list has made so much money for so many users who use it properly. It can pay for your membership in one day if you use it properly. You know, I've seen people like, they, but the thing is this, man. Trading is all about discipline. You can be the smartest person in the world and lose. Or you can be the most simple person, but, but, but you follow our rules. You are disciplined to follow us and you will make money. The best traders in the world, guys, are not necessarily the most intelligent individuals. I'm a dumbass guy. I drink. I do all this stupid shit. I, I can't remember what the hell I traded yesterday. But you know what? I've been doing this so long that... The process that we teach at MSC is ingrained in my head. It becomes second nature. It's a reflex. I have a chapter in Momo Traders called, you know, in my chapter, I call, I call it trading as a reflex. I do it so many times. Alex does it so many times. We don't have to think about it. It's just a knee jerk reaction. Someone, like, it's like throwing a ball in my face. As a child, you don't understand. So you, you don't even move your head. The ball hits your face. Over time, you learn, oh, fuck, I got to get the hell out. Do you think that, oh, shit, a ball's coming? No, you just react. You don't think. And so that's the thing. Do it over and over and over. It becomes a, becomes a habit. Habitual, reflex, good habit based upon your process, guys. And we, you're paying for MIC, not because of pumping and dumping. You're paying so not to learn from us so that you don't repeat the same issues, the same errors, the same problems that Alex and I had to go through. We lost millions of dollars, dude. I lost so much fucking money trying to learn this shit. You know, it's like, why do you need to go through that path? We are telling you what to do, what to avoid. And then when you become consistent, sure, level up. Do what you want to do. But when you're not consistent, why are you doing all this stupid ass shit? I see these guys. They, they just jump around from one mentor to the next. Whoever posts the biggest P&L that day, they will come and they would fucking learn from them. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? You can't, you, you, these guys, they're not trained the same way you do. They have millions of bankroll. You, where the hell? You compare your chapter two to their chapter 1000. So level up properly, guys. And we, we at MIC, one of the few people, I'm telling you that, don't alert. That teaches you to fucking trade. This is not a money grab, man. Seriously, I told Alex. I'm like, dude, I, I, this, sometimes I don't want to wake up. Because you know what, man? There's so many people asking us the same same beginner questions. But this is what we do. We try to help beginner people learn. Such as the zombie rules. Like, look at the LG. Look at this shit. Oh, they make fun of the, us of the zombie rule. But take a this. Oh, shit. Look at the time, 10.30, right? Where was the bottom of LGVN? Right here, that's where I covered. I had like a tiny share left. I was like holding to see if it go lower. But then when it when the zombie went up, I covered it. And look where it is, man. It's another dollar or something higher. 10.30, guys. Let me take a look at this. Let me show you. 10.30, zombie rule. Where was the bottom? If you had long this, oh my God, dude, you're in the money. So I covered it just like people at MIC before the zombie. And then boom, what happened to zombie duck? Take a look at any stock I trade today. Okay, let me, let, me, let me figure this out. So these are the stocks I trade today, guys. Uh, LGVN, I pretty much broke even. I think I lost like 80 bucks on it. Everything else, I made money. I showed this specifically for you. This is the process. All the green means realized gains. I made money on every single stock I traded except LGVN. The reason why is because I had a little FOMO right here, guys. 
Uh, this is the right one. But, you know, I broke even. Pretty much like 80 buck loss, whatever. It's pretty much even. But if I was fighting this, I would get blown out because of the zombie rule. I was like, you know what? Take the process. I need money on every other stock. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm green six out of seven stocks following the process. So take, take a look at the zombie rule, guys. A and, A and one. Hold on. I'm going to show you what I did today. A and Y, 10.30. Well, it's zombied up. When, so 10.30 is here, guys. Shot up. And I was done during the zombies. Notice that I covered down and made money, right? Uh, A-T-E-R. Can we see this? Let me zoom in. Let's, but let's see, zoom out. 10.30. Freaking 10.30. Zombie hour right here. That's the low. But it, it didn't go up, but that's fine. I covered it before from all the way down here to here. So let me see. CLVS. I'm just ready to look. I didn't look at this before, guys. I didn't set it up. I'm just taking a look at the zombie roll times. 10.30. CLVS, zombie two. Holy shit. See, 10.30. Zombie two. Um... G G R. I don't know. This one didn't. This one didn't. I I, I talked. I, I I did a good short on this. <laughs> so I covered it before Zombie Hour. I'm fine with that. Uh, no one traded that stock, anyways. Uh, R C O N. Ten thirty. This one kind of zombied a little bit, didn't. But the gains here not that much. So I covered it before Zombie Hour. Played it safe. T Cat. Didn't really zombie, but you know what I'm saying? It didn't go down that much either. So I played it safe. So you notice that, guys? The the zombie rule protecting me, protects our people, protects the people that respect the zombie. You know what, man? If it goes down more, go for it. But the point is this. It may go down more, may go up more. Put in a stop. The zombie rule is a, it's just a rule. It is not a law. It's not a fact. It doesn't say that you, it must go up, you know, must go down. And so people always talk about this. But the thing is this, but the zombie rule, guys, when you are wrong, you will fucking blow up. All my losses that, that's like in the six figure range is always fighting after the zombie rule, shorting, shorting stocks after zombie hour because they trap you, they move up. And so what the zombie rule does is it helps us avoid the blow ups. Sure, you can make more money, but the losses from breaking the zombie rule, guys, on these stocks, it's huge unless you have a max day loss and a stop in. So the losses are huge. This is why we're trying to prevent people from blowing up. Make money the simplest way possible. I made money on six out of seven stocks today, guys. And the one stock that I make money on is zombied up. But I didn't lose that much. So once again, this is the only stock I lost on today. And I lost like 80 bucks or something crazy, stupid, small, pretty much break even. LGVN. 10.30. I covered most of it down here. See? I was like, dude, this is not going my way. I waited too long, 10.30, so I took it off. Look at that, man. That's pretty damn fucking good, guys. To be able to avoid this shit. If I would have came back and started shorting, shorting, I was fucking be fighting all day long on this stock, guys. So, what do we have? What did we learn? We learned the fact that, you know what? Success Trader helps you to learn to trade because of the MIC rebate route, guys. They have very good fees. They, you can now learn to day trade on that platform without paying these crazy fees. Number two, why are you reinventing the wheel? Why not use the watch list that we provided at MIC to learn to build your own watch list, to learn stock selection, to learn how to do proper entries and exits, and then use that and apply that with the MIC rules such as the zombie rule to keep yourself safe. So think about this, dude. We have the whole thing, the whole package. We have proper strategies that have been proven to work. We have a watch list to help you make money while you learn to work, while you learn to trade. We have a platform, success trade, that helps you learn. And I don't understand why people are still, I'm still angry, Alex. Let me bring Alex on, man. And then we'll end it with this. I'm going to bring you, Alex, uh, add as moderator. Okay, how do I bring Alex on? Because I, I am, uh, how do you move this? Uh, okay, I added you as moderator. How did I add you? Bring you on. 
How do I bring people on? Oh, you're not on your, um, your, your mobile, Alex? I'm gonna end it, uh, go on your mobile. Cause I wanna bring you on and we'll end it with that. Let me see, let me try it now. No, I don't, I can't, I can't go live with you, Alex. Are you using the computer? Come, come back on as a, I don't, I, I added you to moderate, but there's no, uh, are you, are you using your mobile right now, Alex? Get, get out and then get in on your, on your cell phone, Alex. Um, cause I want, I want Alex to briefly tell you his week and how, what he's been doing. That's been, uh, okay. Let me, let me remove you as a moderator. Okay, so I removed Alex as a moderator. There we go. Yo. Hey, brother. Dad, I think when you made me a moderator, it kind of screwed everything up. Okay, we're good now. So I want to bring you on because I'm pretty pissed off about people DMing oh, me that blow up all this shit. So maybe you got to reiterate because they maybe they don't believe me or some shit, guys. You know what it is, but the thing that really bothers me is the fact that we provide a watch list. We provide the stocks to trade. We provide the lines to trade. And instead of people using that, they go find stocks. I have no idea how they even find these stocks, bro. I have no idea how they find these random stocks to trade. And I don't know if they're just doing it because they're bored. I don't know if they're trying to reinvent the wheel. I don't know what the reason is. But, bro, if we have a watch list, let me pull up the watch list. If we have a watch list, if we have a watch list every day of the exact stocks to trade every single day, I do not understand why people don't use that. We do the stock selection for them. It's not just you, Alex. So Tom's posting, and then Joe also posts large caps, too. Look at this. So we have it. Harry, long watch list. Joe, long uh, large cap watch list. Small cap gainers. Tom's low hanging fruit watch list. I mean, there's so many different watches for every type of niche of trading, large cap, small cap, long or short. And then somehow, some way, I have no idea how they find these random stocks to trade. And then they ask us why they're losing. In the stock market, guys, you have to find the right stocks to trade. Like Bao said, stock selection. If your stock selection is crap, you could have the best strategy in the world and it won't work. So we do all the hard work for you. But for the love of God, just look at the watch list and trade only the watch list. The, the key, guys, is to follow people that are consistently profitable. And these are the stocks that they are watching today. They may not trade them all. It may not hit their lines. But the fact that they have taken the guesswork out of 2,000 different stocks to trade. 2,000. There's like 2,000 stocks that you could possibly trade. And they said, hey, there's five of them. Just fucking look at five of these. <laughs> I mean, that's the simplest way. If you're still going deviating outside the process, I don't know what to tell you. I, think, I don't know. I think don't you. try to don't try to outsmart it, guys. Don't try to be a genius in trading. The smartest guy in the room isn't usually the guy that's right. Is the guy that keeps it the most simple. So if we've been thousand trading twenty years, I've been trading eight years. If we've been trading for this long and we found the right stocks to trade, there is no reason for you guys to not trade the stocks that we're giving you the guidance on that you can make the easiest money on. Sure, you could go find other stocks that are moving. You could trade Twitter. You could trade Tesla, but. You're not going to make money on those stocks because they're too difficult, right? So keep it simple. Keep it simple. Join, use the watches, and if you can't make money using the watches, I mean, maybe trading isn't for you. And another thing, guys. So um, I make my own watch list. Alex makes his own watch list, but for some reason, our watch lists are similar. Tom makes his own watch list. I look at our watch. They're similar. That's because the process works. Yeah. The, they're following, we are following a process that's been proven to work. And so... A, so following the process becomes, so people think, hey, we don't have a system. Bullshit. This system is the process. And so our system is going to spit out these handful of stocks that work. That If you apply the process of these five stocks like I did today, I made six out of seven positive trades. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And so Alex comes up with his watch list, but we have the same symbols. Tom has the same symbols as we do. Why is that? Because we are all profitable traders. And we're consistent. We're using the MIC process, guys. We are using the MIC process. It's not a surprise that we're still making money while other people are blowing up in this market, guys. It's not an accident. 
We are not gamblers. We don't have random results. We're not just winging it. Every single day, like a professional trader, a professional career, we come, we make a plan, we execute. There is not a single ounce of gambling in this. And if you think it's gambling, then what's the watch list? How does the watch list have a 90% win rate? You know, you're going to the casino, you're going to win 90% of the time? Impossible. Imagine someone told you, if you follow this list, you could win 90% of the time. You're going to go follow another list? You're going to go try to do something else? I mean, shit, man. I guess that's why 90% of traders fail. Their ego is stubborn. And, I mean, I don't have an ego. I'm not stubborn. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, man, this watch list, is, it prints money. It's what I use, right? So You know, you know what it is, Alex? I, I talked about this before because in here, sometimes we're just too bored. And so when people get bored, they want excitement. And I'm telling you, man, making money is boring, guys. Seriously, making money consistently over and over, it's just fucking boring. I don't care what it is. It's like, it's like you can be having sex with a supermodel. It's boring after a while, right? <laughs> That's what it is. And so the same thing. You're making money, you're so bored. But you know what, man? You have to treat this job. I, I see a, a, a big Twitter guy saying how, how making $10,000 uh, $10, or $20,000 a day doesn't excite him. It's little money, peanuts. And I'm like, what the fuck are you smoking crap? You fucking, you came on a fucking boat, bro. You know, that, that 10000 is more than the boat you came on. And now all of a sudden it doesn't excite you? So those are the people, guys, that we don't want to associate any any education about. Because that's the wrong mentality. I mean, you know, making a few thousand dollars a day on sitting on your fucking ass for one hour. The thing is, if trading money. is boring, it means you're doing it right. This is when I was young, Alex. I, I I used to love the excitement, the fact that I'm fucking down like hundred grand and I come back and I win. Yeah. But man, I, man, we don't want that. I just want to knock the motherfucker out and go home and get my paycheck. I'd rather be bored and rich, bro. That's what I care about. And the watch list is the easiest, simplest way for one hour a day. One hour a day, you trade and you walk away. I mean, how much more simple does it get than that, bro? I have a, I'm going to leave it with a good example, okay? So um, when I was in high school, dude, I was the best, the number one badminton player. I don't know how to badminton. I chose badminton over tennis, right? <laughs> a little fucking shit. I was so fucking good, bro, that I didn't want to fucking leave the court. So I would lose a set on purpose just so that I could continue to play. And my coach fucking benched me, fucking made me run laps. And he's like, dude, so it's, it's, it's that arrogance that I, I was stopped that helped me to get where I am today. Make sense? It's like, dude, if you fucking good at something, just fucking do it and get the fuck out. Number one is don't disrespect your opponent, don't respect the, disrespect the game, and don't disrespect yourself by yeah. thinking that you are so fucking good that you have to fucking play game. Get your business done and get the fuck out. And so it may be boring for me to play shitty players, but you know what, man? I did my business, I got out, and it, it made me like, you know, this is the this is like uh, going into uh, military. This, right? You, you think like, America want to play with with China, they want to win the war. Get the fuck out! They're not gonna fucking. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, exactly. So how about this, Alex? You, know, you made some um, new webinars that help the guys are not in MIC. You you want to post that link and show them where it is? Yeah, guys. So go to myinvestingclub.com/webinar, and this is basically a free one-hour course that teaches you some of our strategies for free and teaches you some of our live trades for free, and basically shows you in a nutshell what MIC is all about. It's totally free. Is at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. So check it out, guys. That's that's gonna be the start, the step one to start your trading career. And I think at the end you get a great deal, right? If you make it Don't tell him that part, but yes. <laughs> Oops. Or hit Tosh. Guys, guys, hit Tosh up. Hit Tosh up, guys. Uh the number, if you can't find Tosh's number, I don't know what to tell you. It's on the <laughs> website on Instagram. <laughs> Maybe trading's not for you if you have to ask. I have people ask, uh, where is your website? I, I mean, dude, <laughs> Google.com, guys. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you for joining. Hit up Tosh. I th he's going to be very friendly to give you deals today, guys. So, you know, te text him a uh, fucking watch list. If you text Tosh watch list, maybe he'll give you some free swag. Hey, even. use the damn watch list, bro. <laughs> if you forget, forget this, that. Just use the fucking watch list. That's it. Oh, it's too easy. No, it's too easy. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, right. bro. We'll keep it short, sweet. See you next time. Thanks for coming on, I was. Yeah, bye. Bye, guys.